So, I'm sure that a lot of you guys already came across that brand new announcement that we have been waiting for for so long regarding the brand new Nintendo Switch that is going to have an OLED screen, so the OLED model, essentially. And uh, based on the promotional material that I saw, I was genuinely excited about what could be coming, and I thought that it actually looked pretty damn cool. And so in today's and so in today's blog, I would actually like to go ahead and kind of address uh, the things that I'm happy to see from this announcement and the things that I'm pretty di pretty disappointed to not have seen, at least based off of exactly everything that we got with that one announcement trailer. Which, by the way, uh, this brand new Nintendo Switch is going to be coming. Uh, sometime around Q4, so around October. So it is slated for around that time frame, which gives me plenty of time to save up for something like it because I would very much be happy with an upgrade like that. So essentially what went on is that now, and now the bezels on the Nintendo Switch are going to be, well, drastically reduced thanks to the bigger screen. And I think that that's going to be pretty awesome. They did uh, seem to show a little more emphasis on the touch functionality, but I think that, you know, it's not going to be any better of a touch screen than what it was before um, on the Switch. And I, at, at least I'm pretty sure that that's just how things are going to be. <laughs> However, there are some other... However, there are some other improvements that I'm very happy about. Like, number one, we're going to be getting official white Joy-Cons. Finally, I have been wanting official white Joy-Cons for a very long time. I actually bought gray ones, and then, ha and then I had to get a custom shell to go ahead and swap those out. So it is very nice that we are going to be getting uh, first-party white Joy-Cons with these. And I think that that's pretty awesome. And also because it is the exact same size as the, as the previous Nintendo Switch, we are going to be able to still use the same Joy-Cons that we always have been. And I think that that's pretty awesome as well. And a couple of things with that too. Another big thing is that we are going to be getting an OLED display. Now, while I don't ex exactly know how big it's going to be, it's probably going to reach the seven inch marker. Uh, but it is still going to remain, uh, but it is still going to retain the same footprint of the original Nintendo Switch, which is pretty awesome. And I very much do look forward to it. So it has been said for quite a while that the latest release of the Switch w was actually a good improvement to the battery life overall when it came to the the Nintendo Switch, and I have found that my Switch at the moment, since I do have the very first generation Switch, has been failing a little bit regarding battery life. Like the battery, really, like the battery just doesn't really last quite as long. So I am very happy to see that we are still going to get that same those same battery improvements. And because it is an OLED display, it should be easier to run as well. It, it should be a lot easier for it to manage, and not to mention that it will look a lot better. We're, we're going to be getting those inkier blacks that I absolutely love, and I'm pretty sure that standby power is going to be pretty incredible, pretty similarly to how it was with the PlayStation Vita back in the day. So I am very excited about that. Now, another big thing actually here, in my opinion, at least, that I think did need a revision of sorts, and I'm very glad that they took care of, but I haven't really seen much buzz around it, is that they now have improved speakers. Finally, I thought at first that the speakers on the Switch were fine for a, for a handheld, and then over time I got very tired of just, like, how low the volume actually was. Like, the speakers are very tinny, they don't get very loud, so I am very happy to see that we are going to be getting some enhanced speakers with us too, so that's actually pretty exciting. Another pretty cool thing is that they finally addressed the kickstand issue that a lot of us have had for quite some time, and that is just that it is a very flimsy kickstand, and it's just like one tiny piece of plastic that just like folds out, but this time the entire back, similarly to a Surface uh, tablet is going to be able to, to just like stick out and then you'll be able to set that on your table just fine. So this is going to be a much better way of handling the kickstand hand sound. It's going to make it a lot more resistant, which I'm sure a lot of people will appreciate. But most importantly, it's actually going to make it so that it is a sturdier kickstand. So yeah, there are still some more changes on there to the hardware that I think are still pretty significant. 
now. Another pretty cool thing is actually on the dock. It looks like the new Switch is going to have a brand new dock, which does actually look pretty cool. It was themed in black and white, which is perfect for, for somebody like me who does love uh, black and white virtually everything. And I was just very happy to see that. We also get an Ethernet port now, which I know that, that a lot of people have been asking for. I personally don't care all, all that much for that Ethernet port because the router is very much... Out, uh, uh, out of my reach when it comes to being able to use an ethernet cable while not obtruding anybody else around the house. So while I'm not too excited about uh, that ethernet port, it is good that they're adding it in. And I am glad that the dock is also being redesigned in that sense. So that's, so that's also pretty cool. However, there's some things that people are not very happy about. And that is the fact that for one, there are no performance enhancements, at the very least none that were spoken of. And I can definitely understand why people would be so upset about that. Even, like, that disappointed me. I, we all wanted to see a Nintendo Switch Pro. This is not a Nintendo Switch Pro by any means. This is not a graphical or uh, hardware improvement in the sense that it will improve performance over time or anything like that and will allow you to play more games, will allow you to play at higher resolution. It isn't anything like that. What this is is simply... Uh, a mid-year or mid-generation mid refresh, I want to say. We're now in 2021 after four years of the Nintendo Switch being out. We are getting what is essentially a new 3DS to the older 3DS or a DSi to the DS Lite, a DS Lite to the original DS, a Game Boy Advance SP to the original Game Boy Advance. You get the idea. That's just essentially how it is. And I am right there with you. I think that this was a missed opportunity, considering that we have been hearing so many rumors about NVIDIA already working on a very special chip, that they had discontinued, discontinued the chip that was already inside of the N Nintendo Switch, and it really made it seem like this new version of the Nintendo Switch was going to be a bigger powerhouse, that you would be able to do a lot more on that. I understand that sentiment. And believe me, I'm right there with you. But it seems like performance is really the only thing that people would be complaining about. And granted, like that is a very big issue. That is a pretty big complaint and a very valid one for that matter. So yeah, we've all pretty much kind of closed that chapter on the Nintendo Switch Pro. There is not going to be a Nintendo Switch Pro by the looks of it, but simply an updated Nintendo Switch, which I am still in the market for because I do still want to enjoy the games that I already have uh, with a much more beautiful screen. And not to mention, I could really use that boost in the battery life. That would be that would really be really helpful. And, and I'm also looking forward to that speaker upgrade as well. So those are pretty much all my thoughts regarding uh, the announcement, at least, for the Nintendo Switch Pro. Hopefully, I will be able to get one in for review in time. Of course, I won't. Hopefully, I won't have to wait too long because I'm honestly excited for what is to come with that. However, Nintendo, come on. If you're going to give us new hardware, improve, improve the software too. Give us more streaming apps. Give us, uh, like, give us actual themes on the Switch, not just dark and light. <laughs> but with that said, thank you so much for stopping by tonight, and I do hope that this vlog was of any use to you. I would love to read your comments down below, and until next time, enjoy.